Hello students. Today I am going to tell you the summary of chapter three on the face of faith in a very brief way. Students, on the face of faith by Susan Hill is a story in the form of a play. It is all about dialogues between two people who are physically disabled but totally stand apart in their attitude and approach towards life. The play deals with the theme of loss and isolation and how an individual should deal with it. One must face the challenges of life with bravery. Derry is a young lad of 14 and has one side of his face burned due to which he is sinking in the abyss of frustration because no one loves him. He would have doomed himself in mental desolation had he not met mr lamb who is also physically challenged with one thin leg but has a positive approach towards things mr lamb lives by himself in a big house with a large spacious garden in front it is here that dairy meets him when he enters his house thinking it to be empty he is started to see here and there and he is startled by a voice mind the apples he feels embarrassed and wants to go home but mr lamb reassure him by telling that he doesn't mind strangers strangers entering his garden he keeps all the gates open when he tells him that he he tells him that one of his legs got blown off in war and he has a thin leg children tease him or irritate him and call him lemmy lamb but he doesn't mind it he advises there is not to mind what people say about him there is full of bitterness towards the world and is critical of his mother who kisses him only on the good side of his face mr lamb tries to deal with his negativity by advising him to think of the beautiful object of the world realizing that dairy takes interest in what he speaks mr lamb narrates a story of a timid boy who never came out of his house fearing that he would meet some fatal accident but died in his own room when a picture fell off the wall on his head and killed him this story makes dearie changes his attitude towards mr lamb as well as towards life mr lamb assures dearie that whatever belongs to him is his uh, if he likes it Now for the first time Derry opens up and talks of Mr Lamb's handicap he has developed a bonding with him uh, if you fell from a ladder and broke your neck you could lie on the grass and die if you were on your own lamb says i could derry knows that his presence in his house would help him Mr Lamb now realizes that his conversation has brought a positive change in Derry's thinking. Derry runs home and tells his mother about his decision to go back to his new mentor, Mr. Lamb. He runs back to Mr. Lamb's garden 
but mr lamb has fallen down along with the ladder and does not respond to dairy's words he is dead but he has taught the next generation to carry on his good work before passing off to the next one now the story ends or the story leaves a message that the actual pain caused by a physical impairment is often much less than the feeling of loneliness which the person goes through the story tells us about the sense of loss and isolation it also tells us how to overcome it thank you and have a nice day